Ebro in the morning, it's time to introduce you guys to a new artist on the scene. Rosenberg, Laura Styles are present. Um, would you guys like to do the honors here? Jasmine V is here. All right, give Yay! up for Jasmine. It looked like you just stole Rosenberg's moment, Laura Styles. Oh, sorry, Rosenberg. It looked like he was about to announce Jasmine. Well, now he knows how it feels. He does it to me all the time. <sighs> that is not true. And mm -hmm. why do you say we're present? Well, is this like a class? Well, because <laughs> you've been missed on some interviews recently. Oh, yeah, that's true. I have so been gone. I've, missed, I've been missing out. Missed August Alcina. Well, Rosenberg back. How did you miss August Alcina's? I know. I know. I blew it. And it's my guy. That's my boy, too. Yo, Jasmine V's already looking at you sideways. <laughs> well, she's sitting sideways to me, so. No, wait, she's yeah. sitting a Jace. Well, yeah, but she's looking at you like, fam, you're a, a clown. Well, like, I'm how here, do you miss August But I'm here for Jasmine V. Why? Because she has a song with my good friend, Kendrick Lamar. The, your nut-hugging compadre. The, my, the man whose nuts I hug. How was... Look at, look at her face. <laughs> It was someone else said that. Lupe Fiasco said, I'm a Kendrick nut hugger. I'm really just a fan of good hip hop. But how was the experience of uh, working with young, young Dot? It was amazing. I honestly, to this day, I still can't believe that my first single that I've ever really put out on a major label is with Kendrick. Yeah, how did, how did you manage that? Um, well, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what my whole direction was going to be when it came to music and all that, because for the longest time I was lost. I was just recording any song to record any song, the direction it makes sense. So when I found out my direction and figured that out, we recorded That's Me Right There with Harmony Samuels, and we were trying to figure out a feature and who made sense, and Kendrick got brought up. But prior to that, I've you know seen him in the studio a couple of times. I got to you know get a real good vibe from him he's an amazing guy super humble super tried to talented. holler at you no not at all mm. super humble like amazing a hard worker I don't believe you know kendrick <laughs> wouldn't do that stop it yeah okay he's a gentleman why because you're so busy on his scrotum you're in the way <laughs> <laughs> um so um so jasmine music um is something that you've always done you've pursued singing since the beginning or tell us who you are like where are you from who you are what's happening all right well um i'm 20 years old uh like i said i always like to say i'll be 21 in december but I'm originally from the Bay. I'm from San Jose. Okay. Born and raised out there. Um, when I was around eight years old, because uh, I'm Filipino-Mexican. My mom's Filipino. My dad's Mexican. Uh, they thought, let's put you in pageants because, you know, I was like the only girl, like, out of all my brothers. I have three brothers. My oldest one right there. And um, What's up, bro? <laughs> And um, so I did pageants, and when I did that, I loved being on stage. I loved being in front of people. I even lip synced to 3LW's No More at the time because wow. I loved. Pretty it. sure they lip synced to it too. <laughs> um, <laughs> hi oh, just kidding. <laughs> but ever since then, I just I, I won, and I loved the feeling of accomplishing something. So I started off in acting, and modeling, but that took place in LA. So we would go back and forth all the time. My grandpa was on oxygen, driving me back and forth five and a half hours. You were like that movie Little Miss Sunshine. Basically, Where all the, yeah. the whole family's in the van trying to make their little daughter a star. Yeah. No, I promise you that was exactly it. We would sleep at rest areas. Like we, like we, we, that's before we even like stayed at hotels. We could even afford to be at hotels or anything. We would just sleep at rest areas, do what we had to do, an audition that I didn't even know if I was going to book or not. And then we'd go back home just mm. to get a call as we pull into the driveway. Like, hey, we got another audition for you tomorrow. This is a really big one. Should make it. Just to drive all the way back up. Eventually, we moved to L.A. when I was 11. So I was stationed out here uh, in L.A. till till now. How did, Okay, here's my question. Did they decide or know that you were super talented at one particular thing? And they were like, we're going to pursue and make this girl a star? Or, and this either answer is okay, where they're like, she's gorgeous we're gonna make her a star like or both or both or like what was the because yeah. obviously you became almost like the focus of the family to be like we're gonna make it happen for our girl like why did that decision get made you think um i think it wasn't even singing at the time though when i was going back and forth it was acting and modeling and i think the the pat since the pageants led me into it because you know my older brother also did acting and modeling but he wanted to focus on school and he wanted to focus on graduating and doing that my little brother didn't care about anything so he was like i don't care i just want to sit here and do whatever i think i was the one that was like okay 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 because you were into it yeah I was you really, took really to into it. it yeah and it was before singing even got involved and one day, my little brother was going to be in a Frankie J music video. And we were walking. <laughs> Frankie J's out here moving. You don't know about Frankie <laughs> J? Shut your mouth. Shut your face. And what happened? No, and I'm not even kidding, by the way. Frankie okay. J's a big deal. What was Frankie J's big thing? I don't know, but it's a big deal. All right. Especially. All right. I love Frankie J. <laughs> Let it finish. Let it finish. Well, I mean, if you watch the Frankie J How to Deal video, you'll see my little brother. He's uh, the, the son. But, um, and you'll see me jump roping for like a millisecond. But I ended up, I was singing outside of my acting agency and some guy that actually was interning at Interscope at the time when I was 11. 
11, 12-ish. No, 11. He heard me singing, and he was like, wow, you're so little, but you have a really big voice. Like, that's, it's really weird. And I, and so he just recorded me singing and put him on YouTube. I didn't even know what YouTube was at the time. And um, that's when I met my manager, Gabby, who's still my manager to this day. It's almost been 10 years. And um, she was working with Damon Dash after the whole split. So I got introduced to Damon Dash, got signed when I was 12. So that's how that started. And mm-hmm. that didn't work out. No, it didn't. I got mean, it. you know. So you're not with Dame Dash. No. And you got with Dame Dash at a bad time, probably when he just split from Rockefeller. And I thing. mean, it, it was. I don't know if it was really a bad time because I wasn't really paying attention to most of the stuff back then. But I think it was. What can you really do with a 12 year old? You get what I'm saying? Like, what song? What can you sing about? Well, like, depends who you ask. Michael Jackson, you know what? See, I mean, no, not even. Right, no, right. no, no, uh-uh, Jasmine, how did you end that. up working with Justin Bieber? You know she was in, in his baby video. Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, well, I split mm. from Damon Dash when I was like 12, 20, 13. Um, then I, you know, did stuff on my own. I performed on my own. Um, was doing stuff for like radio shows, basketball games, Clippers, Lakers, all that kind of stuff. See, National Anthem, charities. And then um, I got signed to Sony Epic when I was 16. And then I got asked to be in the baby video. And at the time, I didn't really know who Justin Bieber was. But I was really excited because it was my first video of being the main girl. I've never been in anybody's video besides mine. So I was like, oh, this is cool. Met Justin. It went well. And then I ended up going on tour for him, on his tour and opening up for him for his second half of his Mount World tour. And so that really helped me a lot when it came to, you know, gaining a lot of fans. And I got opened up to, like, a new crowd. So that was a great experience. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Because you wait, have like, wait a minute, and just, you just opened up for Justin Bieber. You're beautiful. Justin oh, Bieber never you. tried anything with you ever. I mean, I we, I find this hard. Whatever <laughs> you're about to say, we don't believe. You. Did you make out with Justin Bieber? I, well, on the, okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You don't believe her? She said yes. <laughs> you don't believe me, so maybe it's not true. Okay. Um, no, it actually was on the set of the baby video. It's supposed to be a part of the video. I I didn't know that it was going to be a part of the video. So you thought you were just making out with him. You know, maybe, <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's what it was. She but was I like, just, I'm in love. And then he was like, you guys get that? Because I'm not doing this shit again. <laughs> no, the funny thing is, is that the video in the script, it said that they were just going to look at each other and then it was going to fade out into black. I did not know that it was going to be a kissing scene. So like if, if I, we would never see the first take of it. But when you look back at the first take, you just see my face and I'm like, I looked at everybody like, wait crap was that supposed to happen and they're like all right everybody we're gonna be doing that again and then somebody came over she was like here you guys go here some gum i was like wait what the hell is happening right now so you didn't realize that a makeout thing was happening but it, it wasn't was happening. supposed to happen actually no apparently it was they had a gum person yeah, ready yeah, and people <laughs> right was now. like yo i'm about to throw my tongue down this girl's throat real quick on camera <laughs> get not. the gum ready you know what's about to happen fresh. <laughs> but then after doing the take a couple times they were like well we're not actually we're not going to use the take because we don't want to uh, you know you know, oh, that was a Beeb setup, man. That's a classic Cla- Beeb. Vintage Beebs. <laughs> He's done it a thousand times. <laughs> so you guys never kissed again after that? Obviously. I know we dated for a little bit. We were so young. Oh, oh, oh. I was just going to act like that. Wait. <laughs> she slicked this one. <laughs> she just <laughs> tossed that in right after. Like, yeah, and then we dated. So, <laughs> so how long did that last for? Um, It lasted a, a good minute, but we were so young. It wasn't anything serious. We barely saw each other. He was always working. We were on tour. It was more like of a work thing. He was still sweet. He was still sweet little Justin. No, he was really nice. He's, really, he's pre- still sweet. At times. Look, they're adults now, so we got to know. I mean, I got to know. I don't know about the rest of y'all. Okay. Y'all just kissed. That was it. Yeah, I don't kiss and tell. Wait, how old are you? Yes, how old are you again? You, which means I'm 20. She's, she's 20 20. now. She's okay. old enough. You know her brother's in the room. Yeah, that's fine. He's, you know what I mean? <laughs> He knows the drill. <laughs> Why are you nodding like that? Like, yeah. He's I like, he's it. right. It's what you get. I told you when you dated that little bastard, this was gonna come up. <laughs> um, so Jasmine what, V's here. She dated Justin Bieber, and they. You want to know kissed. if he took her Jasmine V card? Oh, oh that's pretty good, my G. Not gonna lie, that was really good. Thank you. Thank really you very good. much. And so the answer is, I will not say. Oh, can't tell you, man. Well, can't tell means. Odds are yes, but that's fine. <laughs> um, but was he was he a good kisser? Was he good yeah. in bed? Was he, he was romantic? Yeah, he was a really good kisser. And, when, and he, was he good to you in general? He was a good guy to you yeah. in general? Yes, he was. Okay, yeah, good. Was uh, really do you guys good. have any relationship? Uh, right Still. now? Uh, no, um, well, I see, I've see. i seen him randomly a couple of times when we were cool or whatever at like a party. How did the breakup happen? Like, Was it just schedules? Was it just... Um, it, it wasn't the right time. He was... Um, 
a superstar. I was still, you know, on my way. He left you for that Gomez lady. No, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> the Gomez the lady Gomez is one of the lady. best lines ever. Uh, a, it you was, don't know her name, and B, how'd she get so old that she's lady old? Right. It's Who knows? So <laughs> what, yeah, so what right. actually happened? I mean, it wasn't the right time. He was a superstar. I wasn't. You know, I was just... I still, I'm not, I'm still working hard every day to be where I want to be. So it was just wrong timing. We were young. So like what can really happen when you're 15, 16? Like it's not realistic. But, you know, after that whole thing happened, it was in the middle of tour. We still, I still opened up for him and stuff. And then that whole thing happened. But. All is well. And here you are now. Yes. Here I am now with you guys. Jasmine V. So I like the song. The song's really good. Mm -hmm. It is a good yeah. song. Um, I did not know to, what to expect when you walked around. I heard the music and had never seen you before, so oh, I'm really? pleasantly surprised. Um, Kendrick Lamar's on it. You've had sex with Justin Bieber. Wait. Oh my God! I never said that. She one. didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. One. Bieber. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, and so now I think it's appropriate <laughs> now that we know kind of how you came about, yeah. right? And you're hardworking. Do you dance? Funny. Like, do you dance? Like, yeah. what's your whole thing? She you dances just, in there. Yeah, I dance. You saw the video? Never seen the video. You never seen the video? No. no. The video's I, dance, good? I dance a little bit. Really? Little bit the video. No, yeah, I dance. Uh, dancing wasn't really my main thing at first, but, um, you know, I started dancing a lot more when it came to performing and all that stuff. But, yeah, no, I dance. She's very poised, this one. I mean, look, she's been in media for you know, what? You know now? who she's <laughs> not? You know who she's not? Rory. <laughs> We did an interview two weeks ago, and he why was like, "Why do you have to bring him up? Why are you dissing Rory? Man? Yeah, He's why are you dissing kid? Rory? What's up? What's up, guys? It's Who's my Rory? first. It's my first interview. Oh. <laughs> this really talented kid. He just hadn't done a lot of press. No, yet. you should check him out. You'll like him. Talented yeah, guy. Like, you like him. Singer? No, no, he's, he's a, a singer. singer. You like his singer? music? Oh, nice. Songwriter, singer. Anyway, but back to you. But she's um, on point, though. I'm just saying she's very. <laughs> thank you. Tell she's done this. Rosemary, thank you. Um, I think that one. I want to know is there an artist um that you really admire and you would like to have your career patterned after if it could be okay. anybody in r&b hip-hop world country what i don't know whatever pop music whatever you like who would you who slot do you want to take out in? i mean i couldn't necessarily say who slot i would want to take because there's you know there's people well my idol is alicia keys and i've Talk always loved it. her since i was younger and i admired her for the fact that she's so beautiful and so talented but she didn't need to show a lot of skin or dance in a certain way great answer to be sexy i know a lot of guys like i just i i really do like take in what a lot of people say and when you bring up alicia keys will be like man she's bad but she doesn't show like i don't think i've ever seen her like naked to the point where you've never seen anything really like, yeah because mm -hmm. you it keeps you wondering like what you know what is it but you you won't know she's so beautiful and so poised and it's like it's great to be looked at like that. Alicia way. Keys, she's coming for your slot, <laughs> my G. Oh, my God. What? No? no. Isn't Alicia Keys coming here this week? Yeah. Yeah, she is. So she's my friend, too, by the way. When's I she coming her. here? You don't need to name drop. When's oh. she coming in? <laughs> she's got a baby coming in December. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, December you know what? Is it on my birthday? Oh, God. oh no. You coming for baby? Yo, Stan. Uh, what's your, <laughs> what's your <laughs> birthday? December 7th. December 7th. That's Larry Bird's birthday, so... Do you know that? We don't know. I didn't know. We that. just know that it's in December. It's Pearl Harbor Day. You can just add that. Oh, well, yes, no, that's And that's also, um, Aaron, I think Aaron Carter's birthday is that's on the same information we needed too. <laughs> Aaron Carter's birthday. <laughs> All right, so Alicia Keys is who you really idolize and think is amazing. Um, Alicia Keys and I love Beyonce, of but course. that's a very, very, very huge shoe to fill. And so you're not even gunning for that. Like, don't even open your fix I mean, your I'm going, lips I'm, to I say mean, something <laughs> that crazy. I mean, I'm going. Listen, just stop right now because if the Beehive gets hold of this, but. Beyonce is just you can't and even you find a word never to describe in, exactly. it. You Good can't answer. find a word to describe it. Are you being sarcastic? No, I'm being serious. I don't want to be in the eyes of the other of these crazy people. In the eyes of the beehive, you should never you try. Should, you shouldn't even say the word be, be you, you can't, but, but she's just saying that she admires she her. She she it. it doesn't ah, matter what it. she said. <laughs> we don't want any problems. It, it's like it's like it's like in Judaism. Like, you know what they should do? Because in Judaism, right, there's a word for God, uh -huh. but like if you're not officially praying, you would just say the word Hashem, which is like, I don't want to use his name, so it's just like kind of his name. So Beyonce needs a secondary name because we shouldn't even say her name at regular Sasha times. The kid, Sasha. 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 Maybe it's just Sasha. 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 And when we're being serious, we call her by Beyonce. Okay. You don't want to offend anyone. All right, so listen, on the way out, would you grace us with your beautiful voice? Is there a song Ooh. that you could sing right now to prove to people that you're the real yeah. deal? Right, we'll she sing that song. Hezo. There was no Hezo on no this hesitation. one. What does that mean? No hesitation. Oh, God. And then we'll go into the song. Deal? Yeah, I mean, I'll sing I'll sing a little bit of the actual song. Whatever you want to do, yeah. this is your no time. All right, let's Jasmine go. Jasmine V, Ebro in the Morning, Laura Styles, Rosenberg. Give it up for Jasmine V. Jasmine. I want to wait and clap up if she's on singing. All right, go ahead. <laughs> 
Baby, believe me, this won't ever stop. And I can make this look easy. Got this on lock. Yeah, that's me right there. Yeah, that's my man. Can't nobody love that man. Like I love that man. That's me right there. That's me right there. I ain't never go nowhere. He ain't never go nowhere. That right there. That's me right there. Jasmine V makes me want to have sex with her right now. <laughs> Ebro. She's old enough. No, she's not. If Biebs no. closed the deal, I can close the deal. Oh, my God. You, first of all, two things. One, you're old and gross. Two, you are not Justin Bieber. <laughs>